this is an average question the concept covered is basically when we have information about what changes happen to the average when an element is either removed or added to a group these questions basically can be solved using two methods one the standard framework i'm a big fan of that method because this method will apply sweetly for any question in averages and i've also walked you through a second alternative method in the second part of this video quite a few students find the second method easier and quicker to get to the answer if you find the second method convenient and appealing to you solve at least four or five questions of this variety using the second method so that you get conversant with that method otherwise stick to the first method the standard framework let's get started by reading the question in a group of 50 students one student who scored 30 marks leaves the group so an element is removed from this group and the average mark of the group drops by 0.2 once this person is left the average comes down by 0.2 what we need to compute is the average marks of the remaining 49 students let's get started standard framework has three columns number average and sum sum is nothing but the product of the first two columns number and average initially there are 50 students do we have information about the average marks of those students obviously no if they had given that average subtracting 0.2 would have given us the answer because we do not have that information let's assign a variable to it let's say the average marks of the 50 students that we initially started with is a marks so what will be the sum of their marks sum is number into average so that is equal to 50 times a one student leaves the group what is the mark of the student leaving he has scored 30 marks so let's subtract 30 from this so we have 49 students remaining in the group and the sum total of their marks is going to be 50a which is the sum of the marks of all 50 students minus 30 the mark scored by the student who left the group what happens to the average this is one more column to be filled the average comes down by 0.2 initially the average was a the new average is going to be 0.2 lesser than this which is a minus 0.2 how are we going to solve we going to solve using this sum equals number into average what's a new sum new sum is equal to 50a minus 30 sum is equal to number into average which is 49 times a minus 0.2 expand this so we have one equation one variable we should be able to find the value of a so 50a minus 30 is equal to 49a minus 49 into 0.2 49 times 0.2 is a 9.8 Let's take all the way constants to one side. So take the 30 to the right hand side. Minus 30 when it comes to the right hand side will become plus 30. So we'll have 30 minus 9.8 on the right hand side. 50a minus 49a is an a. So we've got the value of a. 30 minus 9.2 is nothing but 20.2. So a is equal to 20.2. What is a and what do we have to find out? We need to compute the average marks of the remaining 49 students. What is a? A is the average of all 50 students. So what is the average of 49 students? average of 49 students equals a minus 0.2 if a is at 20.2 a minus 0.2 is what we need to compute that is going to be equal to 20.2 minus 0.2 which is equal to 20 so 20 is the average mark scored by the remaining 49 students one thing you need to be careful having found the value for the variable don't mark that and move on always ask not just in averages any time you get a value for the variable check out what have you assigned the variable for in this case the variable is the average of 50 students what is the question asking you to find out it's asking you to compute the average for the remaining 49 students investing this extra 10 seconds is actually going to translate from answering a question from getting an answer right to answering a question right because getting a is equal to 20.2 is where the math ended the smartness comes in marking the answer as 20 quickly summarize it in a printed form assign a variable for the average sum is 50a 30k marks goes away so new number of marks new sum of the marks is 50a minus 30 new average is a minus 0.2 So sum is equal to number into average. Got the value for a. What is a? A is the average of all 50. What do we have to find out? We need to find the average for 49. Average for 49 is a minus 0.2. So the average of 49 students, average marks of 49 students is equal to 20 marks. Let's move on to the second alternative method. Let's build the framework for it right now. I'm going to walk you through three scenarios to build the framework, and then let's solve the same question using the alternative method. will not go with this question i'm using a different set of easier examples numerically friendly examples to work with let's say we have 10 people let's say initially they have 100 dollars with them so what's going to be the sum of money with them that's 10 times 100 which is equal to 1000 dollars now we are adding an element to the group let's say one person joins the group and brings with him 100 dollars what's going to be the total number of people new number of people will be 11 after adding this person new number of dollars with all of them together will be 1100 So let's consequently compute the average, which is 1100 upon 11, which is equal to 100. I'm just sticking till now to the standard framework to build this new framework. So what has happened to the average? The initial average is 100. New average is 100. The 
inference right now is if a new element is added to the group and the value that the new element brings is the same as the average of the initial group initial group had however many people if the initial average is 100 and the new element that brings that brings in with it 100 to the table the average will remain unchanged and will stay at 100 so let's draw this inference and write it down in words if the new person brings in an amount equal to the average new person brought in 100 what is the average the average is also 100 the average remains unchanged at 100 the converse is also true if a new person joined the group we know that there are 10 new person joined and right now we have 11 initially the average was 100 the new average is also 100 then what is the amount brought in by that person the, am the amount brought in the person by the person is the same as the average so that's a second inference the new person joins the average remains unchanged initial average is 100 new average is also 100 then what's the value brought in by the new person new person has brought in a value that's equal to the average right this is scenario number one when the new person brings in the same amount as the average scenario number two let's get the new person to bring in more than what the average is initially 10 people average is 100 sum is equal to 1000 let's run it through the standard framework and then draw the inference let's say the new person brings in 111 person has brought in more money than the average what happens to the sum 1000 plus 111 is 1111 what happens to the average we have 11 people with 11 11 as the sum so 11 11 divided by 11 that is equal to 101 so the average has gone up by one so now let's draw these inferences the new person brought in more than what the average is so obviously the average has gone up that's the first inference by how much will the average go up? that's of more importance to us this person brought in 111 which is 11 more than what the average is it's essentially saying that if this person had brought in 100 the average would have stayed at 100 this person has got 11 more than what the average is the 11 that is brought in by this person what is average average is essentially saying if you pick the sum and divide it equally among everyone what will everyone get if you had gotten 100 the average would have stayed at 100 this person has boosted the sum by 11 now to bring it in terms of average we need to check out what would this extra 11 translate to each person getting what was the value that each person will get with the new person added we have 11 people in hand he brought in 11 more dollars than the average so 11 upon 11 he has brought in one more for each person which means the average has gone up by one more than the old average it's gone up to 111 101 so let's put this in words the new person brings in x more than the average how much has he brought in more than the average he has brought in 11 more than the average in this example then the average is going to go by x by n plus 1 initially there are n people this person joins we have n plus 1 people so he brought in 11 and for how many people now for 11 people so the average is going to go by 1 conversely if you know that the initial average is 100 and this person has brought in one more than what the average is he has brought in one more than the average how many people will be there after this person joins there will be 11 people in the group so he has brought in a value which is going to increase the sum by each one has now got one more that's what the average is increasing by one means so for 11 people each one brings has got one more means the total would have gone up by 11 so this person brought in 100 plus 11 111 is what this person brought in in the second case we know the old average we know the new average we know the number of people we are trying to find out how much did this person bring in so if the average increases by y after the new person joins the new person has brought in y times n plus 1 more than the old average the average went up by 1 when this person joined so how much would, a, would this, this person have brought in more than the average this person would have brought in 1 into 11 11 more than the old average so this person has brought in 100 plus 11 111 to the table so look at scenario 3 so this person brings in lesser than what the average is the average is 100 10 people sum is equal to 1000 let's say this person brings in 89 right now he's gotten lesser than the average what's going to be the sum sum is going to be 1089 how many people are there now 11 people what's the average in the standard framework it's 1089 divided by 11 which is equal to 99 now let's run through this how much did this person bring in less this person brought in 11 less than the average so essentially he's saying that i am going to you the rest of you will have to fork out for what i have brought in less how much has this person brought in less he's brought in 11 less how many people will be there after this person joins there will be 11 people in the group after this person joins so what is going to be the average if he had brought in 11 more each one had got an extra dollar he has got 11 less so each one's wealth is going to go down by the same extent each one's wealth is going to go down by minus one or the average is going to go down by a one so initial average was 100 new average equals 99 let's put it in words the new person brings in x less than the average the average is going to go down by x by n plus 1 
initial number of people n new number of people n plus 1 so this person brought in 89 dollars which is 11 less than the old average for how many people including him there will be 11 people so the average is going to go down by 1 conversely if you know the old average and the new average the new average is 1 lesser than the old average so after this person joins there will be 11 people so this person has taken away one from each one of the 11 So this person brought in eleven less than the old average. So this person brought in eighteen. So these two are known. And if this is asked, this is how we go about it. Let's put this again in terms of x and y. If the new person brings in, if the new person brings in an amount on account of which the average decreases by y, the new person would have brought in y times n plus one lesser than the old average. What is it gone down by? It's gone down by one dollar. For how many people? For eleven people, including the new one. So it's one into eleven less than the old average. So that's equal to eighteen. Let's bring this to this question. In this question, it, in the entire framework, we have added a person. So let's, for a moment, we have fifty people going down to forty-nine. I'm going to swap this case. Let's look at it that we have forty-nine people and it's going up to fifty with this person joining the group. Let's look at it that way. For forty-nine people, we know the average is a minus zero point two. Remember the standard framework that we set up with fifty people coming in. If this person goes away, the average drops by zero point two. So to the forty-nine people, if we add this person, the average should go by zero point two. So the average will be an A. So it was A, A minus zero point two. We are just swapping the order. We are saying if it is initially A minus zero point two, by adding this person's marks, it's going to become A. So by this person joining, the average increases by zero point two for all fifty of them. Because when this person instead of leaving the group, I am looking at it as a mirrored version. That initially forty-nine, this guy comes into the group. When this person comes into the group, the average is going to go up by zero point two. The average goes up by zero point two. It's saying that the overall he is adding zero point two marks for each one of them, including him. So this person brought in fifty into zero point two more than what the average of the remaining forty-nine is. We'll read these two statements slowly. Essentially, adding this person to the group is the equivalent of adding zero point two marks to every one in the group, including this person. So he is on account of this person coming in, the average has gone up by y. For how many people? For n plus one people. So what this person brought in is actually y times n plus one more than the old average. What is y? Zero point two. What is n plus one? Fifty. So point two into fifty is ten more than the average of the remaining forty nine. How much did this guy bring in? This guy brought in thirty. So the thirty that he brought in is ten more than the old average. So old average is equal to twenty marks. Check whether this make sense method makes sense to you. If you find this method easy and something that you can grasp. Pick four or five questions. Change these numbers. Right. Read in the rest of the story as is. Solve this. Get conversant with it. So you're able to solve it in about forty-five seconds. Standard framework might take you a minute. This will give you an answer in three quarters of a minute. Save about fifteen seconds, which is valuable in any examination. But the whole point is you need to get this right. Don't make a mistake here. Standard framework accuracy is probably ninety-five percent. This method accuracy is probably seventy-five percent. It's a good chance that. You should not make. You should be watchful of how you solve this question so that you don't end up making a mistake here. Before you leave, I want you to do two things. One, sign up as a trial user for Visaco's online GRE course at online.visaco.com. Takes all of three minutes and two steps to get started. And lastly, subscribe to this channel, YouTube.com/visacogre. We keep adding newer questions, give you tips, tricks on how to crack the GRE.